Over the course of the past year on this channel, you've probably seen a couple of videos that have had my cats as one of the primary stars of it. You know, uh, videos such as Pip and the Kid Got Neutered Today, either that or Mittens vs. Rainbow Cthulhu. Uh, there is a song, though, right now that's available over on Bandcamp from a group called Caricature. The song is called Stampede. Uh, that is all about a cat. It's all about one cat. And it's actually about the cat and its owner, who is also the artist, and their mutual tale of dual survival, essentially helping one another survive and find sort of this road to redemption. Uh, the song, once again, is called Stampede. It's 27 minutes. It's progressive metal that has some technicality thrown in there. There are some elements of perhaps some death metal, if you want to call it in there. I really like to call this just <laughs> plain and simple cat metal. And it's not done by Kiss, so bye. Or Love Metal, not done by him, done better than him. This is pure love, really, and pure emotion wrapped into one 27-minute massive song. Now, this is a track where the story that is presented is perhaps even more important than the music that surrounds it, although the music does a phenomenal job in order to sort of snapshot the different elements uh, that this tale really weaves. And Whenever you say the word tale, it almost sounds like it's some sort of, you know, based off a true story or tall tale, when in reality, this is life. This is real. This is truth. And it surrounds a young cat by the name of Parmesan. It surrounds the artist who finds this cat on the brink of death, very, very young, abandoned by its mother, and going blind thanks to parasites. And the artist at this period is also not at a very good time of his life. There's a lot of questions that are surrounding his head. A lot that has to do with the concept of, am I able to move forward? Am I able to go on? So, the discovery of this young, ailing cat that's on the, on the brink of death actually starts a journey for these two, a road to redemption, if you will, where they're able to literally nurse one another back to health based off of the bond that is formed between them. Uh, this is a story that was covered on Metal Injection. It's been on a couple of other websites. Just a really, really cool album with a terrific concept that's getting a little bit of attention that you should certainly check out. And it's one that also, it, it, it doesn't feel plastic. It doesn't feel like it has that glaze or that gloss that you sometimes hear with these big, massive epics. This has just enough of that fuzz, that sort of rough coat on it that really makes it perfect in a way pun not intended. It's instead a, a very telling sign of an artist that made this album, made this huge 27 minute beast of a song out of pure love and to really tell the story of mutual redemption between artist and Parmesan. And there are some very cool moments that this uh, long, long epic track boasts. And I love the fact that it undulates sort of as the tone of the story goes. You know, one of the critical themes that you hear on this song multiple times is that you bring me light, you bring me or give me solace, you give me peace, you give me hope. You know, it's very reminiscent in the mental, mental picture that I get is that there are storm clouds that are slowly being parted and they are starting to expose a little bit of sunlight, a little bit of light, kind of bringing somebody out of that darkness and into a better state of mind, a better state of being. And the music reflects that very well because whenever it is meant to be kind of a hopeful moment, either that or a very positive moment, you hear a, a lighter side, a little bit more powerful, captivating chord, a captivating uh, segment of a track, cleaner vocals, and then whenever it is something that is telling more about the tragedy of the backstory, the the real struggle of trying to, to, to live for one another, essentially, uh, as the story goes. You do hear those elements of darkness. You do, do hear the gruffer, more deathy style vocals. I have to talk about one moment in particular, uh, and that's at the 1730 mark of this track. So we were about two-thirds of the way in, where a guitar solo just comes out of nowhere. Even though you sort of see that that's where the composition is heading, it still catches you off guard, and it's really one of those eargasm moments that we talk about every so often. It reminds me very much of groups such as Sanhedrin, or even The Faceless, perhaps even Born of Osiris. Just with the style and sort of how it just sparks itself out of nowhere and captivates. Uh, very tech prog in a way. And what is even more impressive is what happens directly afterward at the 18 minute mark 
where you just hear some ambience almost sounding like a nursery, um, perhaps just one of those softer, more family-associated moments. And you hear in the background very faintly the meows of Parmesan that really just, as a pet owner, it, it gave me that, that jilt right in my heart. And why I call this love metal or true love metal is because or love is more than just romance, obviously, first of all, but second of all, that is, whenever that moment hits you, that's purity, that's pure emotion, that's pure reality, that hits in such a way that is hard to describe. This is an album whose journey was taken by its artists, and its reflection, you know, the reflection done in music, no doubt gives it about as much justice as it possibly can, but to live that and then execute this feels very much as though Joe uh, Spiller, who is caricature, and Parmesan, the cat, were in the studio together hammering out this project, telling their story, almost like a pair of authors trying to tell about a, a really rugged time, a hard moment in life, or just to propose a bit of an autobiography of their friendship. It's fantastic, and it's one that I highly recommend. It's on Bandcamp. Once again, the link is in the description box for all of you that want to listen to it. I highly recommend this. Last week, we did a video entitled Five Metalhead Attitudes That Need to Change, with a homework assignment attached of listening to two brand new bands a day. I did half of the assignment for you today. Check out Stampede by Caricature if you are an animal lover or one that has animals in your home. It is certainly going to warm your heart, especially considering you can read along with this story. It is a tragedy that turns into a triumph. Uh, even if you don't have animals in your life or they're not really for you, it has so much to offer musically, and it gives you so much musically. This is a literal outpouring of emotion in a musical context, in a lyrical context. You're going to love this simply because of how real, how pure, and just how direct it is in the fact that this is real life. I want to know what you guys think about this song after you get the opportunity to listen to it. Let me know in the comments below. Spread this track around. It's deserving of it. I'm not giving this a score because this is instead a mission to get this heard by so many people. This, this needs to be heard by more. So let me know what you think in the comments below. My name is Cover Killer Nation, and I will talk to each and every one of you guys next time. Take care.